Hello and welcome back everyone, and Wolf here with more Star Wars The Old Republic, where we last left off, we had landed on the planet of Alderaan to find out who our final target was for the Great Hunt. Apparently it is some noble called the Durasteel Duke, or that's his nickname, because he survived so many assassination attempts. Uh, we are working now with a vassal of House Full called House Gerard, who have an in for us, a way for us to maybe intercept and deal with um, House Ger um, the Durasteel Duke. Before we go continue our work for them now, we're going to do some high, some side missions for um, House Full in the Empire and try and um, improve our, what's the word, our interests here on Alderaan itself. So we're going to go play with a shock colour, which we should be able to use in here. We need some rebelling nobles like you. His um, conversation partner disagreed with us applying a shock colour to his um, f his friend here. But now he's going to go on a journey with us. And we'll make him run quite fast. Need some help? So let's go into House Full itself, the palace, and speak to the current ruler of the exiled house. Let's have a look at the scenery before we actually go speak to him. Quite a large place. Lord Gerard Fool. What is who? Uh, Crimar, is that Crimar Noven? That's a free nobleman of Alderaan. Unhand him. Who are you? W what, what's this about? <gasps> Next time, you take care of it. I, I, I told Moff Sarek that this was an internal problem. Um, All of Alderaan will be thrown into chains because of you. If you cannot rule your own vassals, how will you rule a planet? You heard that. Be silent if you wish any mercy. I am not certain that someone of your profession should make this sort of decision. Uh, I make this decision. Sir. This spineless toad will make a poor lord of Alderaan. Yes. It will take work to shape him. I hope you will undertake this for me. I would like to offer you a commission. Be my representative in House Thul. Aid Jorad and his men in crushing all resistance to the Empire. Obey him as if it were me. And with the same penalty for defiance. Tell him what you need, and he will ensure Thull's hold on Alderaan. Yes, sir. Sir. What's the next step? I suppose the Moff expects us to take on House Organa. They're one of our oldest noble houses, and loyal to the Republic. Until recently, they've been without an army, but they've got supporters all over the planet. Uh, including here. You'll never find them. They've got top-of-the-line cloaking, better than anything the Empire makes. No probes will get through, no spy sats, nothing. Do you really want to find out what happens if you don't tell me where they are? I don't know. Do you think we didn't anticipate this? We know what sort of monsters your Empire hires. I don't know anything that you could torture out of me. House Organa denied raising an army, claiming it's just patriots defending their lands. But their attacks are too organized. We'll never find every group. We need to get inside their planet-wide communications. 
And that means finding a base with a physical link to slice into. Just point me in the direction of the action. The Organa Gorillas have a base hidden in some cave or other natural camouflage. There should be a master comlink there, guarded by their best soldiers. If you insert this computer spike, it'll give us a backdoor into all their communications. If we slice into their command center, we can avoid falling into any traps. House Organa will not make another move without us knowing. So, as the Moth and the Lord Gerard here say, well, the Moth more than anything, we need to mold Gerard Full to be a good servant of the Empire. I hope we're getting paid well for this since we aren't a member of the Empire ourselves. He did mention a commission, though. I'm seeing a lot of credits in my future. Hopefully, at least. Hey. I suppose it would be more relevant if we played a member of the actual Sith or a part of Imperial Imperial Intelligence. So yeah, we need to travel to the Luster Cave. That's where the, the Organa Rebels are holing up. I think there's a quest or two we can also pick up around here though. Gotta keep my eyes open. I think you will need to speak to me shortly. And use while we're here. Hey. Rolan Stalos. What do you have to say? Imagine leaving your home for a sojourn into the galaxy. When you return, you find the manor infested. The wood is rotten and wriggling. Beetles carpet floors you raced across as a child and maggots drop in tangled clumps onto your head. This is what House Thule must contend with, an infestation of vermin. When you have a bug problem, you hire an exterminator. The Killicks are Alderaan's native insectoid population. Man-sized, barely intelligent. It's the nobility's duty to contain the swarms underground. Unchecked, they are ravaging this planet turning palaces into hives and cocooning the survivors. Generations caught in the mandibles of beasts. You said they were native to this world. They were here first? Legend has it Killix once ruled the planet. Supposedly most flew to the stars. But how many remained in hibernation? House Organa has been neglecting their responsibilities against the vermin. But even they carry defenses against Killick hunting parties. If you could seize the Organa toxins and poison the Killick hives, well, the Killicks will swarm, and the other houses must defend themselves and do their part. That isn't half bad. We will all war against the Killicks, and Thule will save this planet from infestation. So we need to steal a poison dispenser. Cool. Where can we do that? Actually, nearby the listening inquest. Okay, that's ideal. Let's get our speeder out. Have a little bit of a journey. What should we do first? We'll go do the um, the comms uh, tapping first, which is actually in this cave system. The poison dispenser is actually on the ridge there. Doesn't really matter which way you do it. Oh, actually, someone might be here before us. someone's around. That's fine. Here's a bonus quest here of course so we will play around. Get it. 
House Ogonna law object, so if you want to know about House Ogonna, the codex is now unlocked about them. I'm not really too fussed, but keep on maybe. Ah. Sif Sorcerer and a Juggernaut there. I wonder if they were, if they were working together. Let's we'll increase our scavenging while we're here. Some raw materials. Nice. She has the comms relay. Impressive work. You can see we now have access to the Organa systems. They're all talking about the, uh, the ruthlessness and brutality of the recent attack. They, uh, they do train you Imperials well, don't they? I'm no Imperial, but I'll take that as a compliment. I thought you might. Now that we can monitor the Organa's communications, it should be possible to... Lord Thul, the base is under attack. Send aid quickly. Border outpost 2 under attack. I repeat, under attack. Perimeter defense is breached. We're under attack by assault droids. Repeat, a coordinated attack by probe and assault droids. Blood of the Queen. I'm no soldier, but I could probably defend your base. Yes. Go now. It hasn't pay. Whatever you want. The data says all three border posts are under attack. Looks like a coordinated effort. Hunter killers and probes. All I've got out there is a skeleton crew. You're the only one close enough to reach them in time. Please. Save my bases, and bring me the memory cores from any probes you destroy. I want to know who's behind this. Good luck. I'll bring you the heads of those droids, and their master. Thank you. Now hurry! So, we, we tapped those communications just in time. And now we need to fight our way out of here, of course.
speaking of, we may as well get um, Galt and 2v working on our slicing again. break. by having a character who's capable of stealth like a what are they called again obviously we have the Sith Assassin or the Imperial Agent what is their specialty called operatives there you go yeah they have operatives and they have snipers and operatives have a cloaking ability let's try and find We need to find some uh, Helic Poison. And the actual Poison Dispenser itself. Someone may have been here quite recently. The dispensers. Ah. Excellent. So we just need one more bout of poison right now. Do you have it? What the? Hi! Do you mind? Okay, we got five bouts of poison. We have to poison eight hives. We are now going to do the task of Jesus and divide five into eight. And we can do that. Oh! Oh, there's the Keelic Hives over here. These are the various um, border outposts. August, uh, Parthos, and Bentifus. Oh. Oh, oh there's a law object. Joiners and the Killick Hive Mind. Yeah, the Killicks, as you, as you can guess from that codex entry, they have a hive mind. And you can actually get other members of various races to join it. And those people who join the Hive Mind are then, bec then become known as Joiners. We'll probably encounter some Joiners much later on. Meanwhile, though, let's go defend these outposts a little. Thought you forgot about me. Try to be more careful. Oh, great! I didn't mean to fall in here, but that's fine. So we need to repel ten attackers from each of the bases and get five probe droid memory cores. Ah, oh, looks like someone's recently killed a lot of the attackers. We're probably chasing the, uh, the Sith Sorcerer and Juggernaut. Dry that we may need. So, 
almost cleared Benefis of its attackers, even though there's a lot more that have just suddenly respawned. Benefis is successfully repelled. Now we need to go to uh, Parthos and assist over there. Need some help? That's the quickest way. I guess it's this way. We can fight for um, kill these probe droids since there's so many over here. It's worthwhile doing it to get the memory cores. Get the memory cores now, we don't need to worry about them later. Nice. All the memory cores gathered. So, 20 more people to kill. Knocked us out of using our ability. Parthos, now we just have the final outpost in August, which is quite far to the west. So we'll go play with the Keelix first since they're on the way. You can see some of the Keelix um, above ground nests here. We need to poison eight hives. Probably a bonus quest for killing some of the Keelix, actually, so let's find out. Yeah. Defeat 25 Keelix. Okay. Not. What are you doing here? Oh, you can see what hives in the distance there. Someone running around. Oh, it's that juggernaut again. See someone jumping around in the distance. This is the poison dispenser.
Uh, five more Kelix and we finish with a bonus. So let's rush around. Looks like someone's recently poisoned this one. It's probably going to be that juggernaut. Happened here. Damage Cortez patrol droids. I think that's for a story mission. I could be wrong though. I don't think it has anything to do with us at least. Sorry about this, sorcerer. I'm stealing it first. Oh, maybe he managed to do it as well. That'd be interesting. Didn't realise he could do that. So we need two more hives somewhere. There's one. Here's the other. And that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's clear my throat. And that's the bonus mission done. So now we can return to uh, Rail and Stalos. But we'll go... Um, deal with the border post attackers first. The results are much better than they appear, Master. You'll see. Ah, it's a candy drop. That's a bit better. Four minutes left. <laughs> We can now return to Lord Jared Fool. So we might as well use our quick travel back to this waypoint here. The killer hives have been poisoned. They'll swarm soon. And the noble houses must accept their obligation to combat them, thanks to Thul leadership. In another life, you would have made a fine royal guardian of the mountains. Uh, thanks. Nope. Do you require medical attention? Uh, poop. Try uh, to be more careful. Be well. Let's take back the Bondi. It's actually a scavenging material.
thought you forgot about me. Shame, we're going to lose all the bonuses given to us from our party members when we were running the flashpoint. I cannot thank you enough for your quick work. I don't know what the Organas were after, but that attack was long in the planning. It was a costly defeat for them. Well, they have deep pockets, but it won't be quick to rebuild such a force. Who's the source of these? What were they looking for? And quickly! The programming signatures point to Lord Cedric Kilesa. Lord Kilesa is my vassal. He swore loyalty to me personally when we returned from exile. Are you as ignorant as you look? The parameters indicate the probes were to join an assault team in a... My lord, this program indicates an assault team massing in a tunnel between here and the Kalisa Estates. I don't find any such tunnel on the blueprint. The siege tunnel! Blood of a queen! They're, they're coming through the siege tunnel! Those attacks were meant to draw your guards away from the palace. The wretched traitor! That tunnel connects his lands directly to our estates. No one's used it in centuries, but it, it, the tunnel opens right under this room. What are we going to do? Defeating a standing army goes for a time and a half. It is, of course, whatever. This is my family's home. Moff Sarek gave us cartons of thermite explosives. They take time to set up, but they, they pack a punch. If you take them into the siege tunnel, you could collapse it on Cedric and his army. Seal the access, so they can't threaten us again. How do I get into the siege tunnel? There's an entrance to the tunnel nearby. The storeroom is in the same area. I'll recall my troops to defend the surface, but there's no doubt the real battle will be below. Thank you. He still needs a bit of that moral support backing him up, but that's fine. So this is the storeroom here. Do we retrieve the ferment explosives? And then I think we need to go this way to get into the siege tunnel, he called it. Anyhow, we'll end this video here without inside the full palace itself. We've been going past we've been going for more than 30 minutes. But when we return, we'll continue supporting House Full's operations here in Alderaan. Serving the Empire's interests and hopefully getting some reputation and money for it as well. Before we then, before we then go towards the old um, Royal Museum. And hopefully finding out more information on this Durasteel Duke. So of course this has been Anforth with Star Wars The Old Republic. And I will see you all as we continue the series next time. Until then. Bye-bye now.